It's time for sports with KTC's Mike Carter. Well, despite a disappointing 11 inning loss to Little Rock on Sunday, the Raging Cages baseball team heads into the final week of April, having won three straight series against Sunbelt Conference opponents. The 22 and 19 Cajuns currently find themselves now a half game behind Little Rock for first place in the SBC West. Despite that, the Cajuns have now won 10 of their last 13 games overall and are arguably playing their best baseball of the season, now just one month out from the SBC tournament. We've been playing very well on the weekend, uh, the last three weekends. We've had opportunities to sweep people. We just need to stay consistent pitching and keep the score down, stay consistent defensively, and, and, and be able to score enough runs to just win a ball game. Former Ragin' Cajun and current White Sox pitcher Danny Farquhar is progressing well after undergoing surgery on Saturday to address a brain aneurysm. According to a team statement, Farquhar has use of his extremities, is able to respond to questions and commands, and is also able to speak to doctors and family members. The statement goes on to say that Farquhar remains in critical but neurologically stable condition. And coming up later tonight on this week's edition of Senior Spotlight, Lafayette Christian Academy's track program is finishing up its sixth year in existence this spring. And while there isn't yet a track at the school for athletes to run on, that hasn't prevented senior Tyler Granger from becoming one of the best long distance runners in the state. But what makes Granger special goes all the way back to his efforts as a seventh grader to make the dream of track and field at LCA 